All right, so we're at 600 yards with the AK Vepper. And I got one, two on the paper, and then three, four over here, and a fifth one went there. So we got two on target. I think this was a five shot group. So I had a five, yeah, I had a five. I got two on a man sized target. So that would have been a hit. And then I got two arm shots. Those are from somebody else. Got two arm shots there, and that one was a miss. Uh, that's with the AK Vepper. That's the 600 yards. Okay, so there's the AK Vepper that I was shooting that 600 yards with. So, um, what the hit, the hit that you saw was actually the second time around, second time around shooting. The first five shots were complete misses because on this second focal plane scope. I didn't dial up all the way. I had dialed back a little bit. Okay, I might have been at eight magnification instead of ten. And uh, yeah, the shots went just just over that target. Um, so yeah, that's one of the issues with like if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot second focal plane scopes, you have to pretty much only shoot second focal plane scopes because if you're going back and forth between first focal plane and second focal plane, the comfort that you're going to develop dialing back. You know, you know, for a wider field of view, and then you know, just like not being stuck to the highest magnification, you're gonna you're gonna develop a comfort with shooting in all magnifications, and then when you go to a second focal plane scope, that habit is gonna carry over, and uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna be trying to shoot 600 yards and not be in your max magnification, and the holdover here is four mils, so if I'm at eight, yeah, that's gonna lift it like just over the target. Hey everyone, so I was shooting the Vepper 308 at a thousand yards and one hit here with the two squares. So that's one out of five at 1,000 yards. So the holdover was 15 mils, the, the full mil grid. Okay, I, initially I tried 13 and a half um, and I spotted an impact that was low, like on the 15 mil line. And basically I adjusted to that. Um, and that's how I got my hit. So the, because I, I took, at first I took five shots. I think those were completely wasted. Uh, and if, finally, I think on the last one, on the fifth one, I saw an impact with that, uh, because that max magnification is 10. And, um, and that's fine because that's where I'm working with the, uh, with, even with the five to 25, I'm working at 10. Well, I, I finally spotted an impact. I saw it was on the 15 line and then I took another five shots. Only one hit. We'll take another five. We'll see if we can do better. All right, well, let me give you guys some thoughts on shooting the AK Vepper uh, at a thousand yards for the first time. Um, so I took uh, 15 shots and I only got one hit. Okay. Um, and I'm not counting the first five shots, but I kind of used to kind of dial in. I finally saw like a splash. Uh, and I dialed myself in with the first with the first five. So and then I shot 15 after that uh, in five shot successions, and I, I just couldn't you know I couldn't get there. Now with the AR-10, yeah, basically I'm getting like an average of like four out of five, about three either three M away between three M away and four M away with the AR-10. Okay. Um, so uh, now in all fairness, I just mounted this scope. That's the primary arms. Um, uh, 1 to 10 by 28 SLX this week, all right, and I shot this at 100 yards, uh, I got 50 yards zero, shot at 100 yards, so that, you know, uh, got an idea of what my grouping was, and then from there, basically, I just went straight to 1,000 yards today, um, ideally, I would have liked to have shot, if I had more time, I would have shot this at 200 yards, uh, shot it at 300 yards, uh, shot it at 600 yards, um, so on the one hand, yeah, maybe I need to just like work with this rifle a little bit more. Um, that's, that's entirely possible. A um, couple of things that are really working against me, the ergonomics, this stock is very hard to, you know, basically, um, you know, get the right elevation at the back. Um, other thing, uh, is the, just the way that the scope sits on the side mount, it's just too high. 
Um, so I'm taking a basically a chin instead of a cheek weld, I've got a jaw weld or or or, or you know. So the, my face isn't sitting perfectly on the gun. Uh, other thing that's throwing me off a little bit is the fact that there's a second focal plane. Uh, at one point today when I was shooting this, uh, I had it zoomed up all the way to 10 power. I was shooting like an 8 power, and that was like throwing off the shot. So I'm kind of used to, sh at this point, I'm used to shooting first focal plane scopes where I can be in any magnification. And now with this one, I can only be in 10 magnification. Uh, so that's that's throwing me off a little bit. Okay. Um so yeah, I'm thinking uh, this is a $450 scope. I got this like two years ago. I'm thinking I'm going to probably sell this one off for about $350 because at this point I'm just so you, like all my other scopes are like first focal plane. I got this oddball second focal plane over here. It's just not working well with the habits that I'm developing. Okay, um, so those are my thoughts so far on this. Uh, yeah, so I, I I'm going to work on this a little bit more and see if I can you know. Uh, you know, if I can stretch this out, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I know I can, I've been at 100 yards. I, I probably gotta go and hit the 200 yards, get the 300 yards. Um, but yeah, I mean, no problem hitting a thousand yards today with the AR-10. Um, but that, you know, I've got a little bit more practice on that. But then again, the first time I shot my AR-10 at a thousand yards, you know, I got, uh, I think it was like nine out of ten hits. I posted a video on that for like 2.2 MOA, right? It was like a 22-inch group. At a thousand yards, first time shooting the AR-10. I don't seem able to do that today with this Vepr AK. 